Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we will learn how to run Java programs in Visual Studio Code. So for this, we need two uh, things. One is Java extension, and the second one is Java JDK. So first, we will download Java JDK. So for that, I will go to this uh, Google Chrome, and here I'll open this and search for JDK and hit enter. Now. I'll click on this first one and now here I'll click on this uh, downloads and I'll go down here and I will select JDK for Windows and now from here I'll select this 64-bit uh, installer so I'll click on this and it started downloading as this JDK is downloading we will go to uh, Visual Studio Code and we will install the extension so here I'll uh, search for Java extension so is, it is this first one by Microsoft the author is Microsoft so I'll click on this and I'll install this so now extension pack for Java is installed so I'll close this and I'll close the extensions now we will go to our browser again and check if the download is complete it uh, it is not complete so now the download of jdk is complete so i'll uh, show in folder and now i'll double click on this so now here i will click next now uh, this is the uh, drive c program files java uh, jdk where the jdk will install i'll click next so now the jdk is installed so i'll close this and now we have to set the path uh, so for that I'll minimize this Visual Studio code and now I'll go to this uh, drive and I'll click on the, uh, this PC and then C then program files and then Java and then JDK and now I'll copy this path Control C this and now we will go to uh, here search and here we will search for environment variables and it is right here so we will click on this and now we will click on environment variables and now down here we will click on this uh, path and edit this now here we will add new path and I'll control V that path here and now I'll click OK OK and I'll click OK as well here now I'll close this now we will check that if our path is set up so for that we will open cmd and here we will write java c dash or hyphen version and hit enter now you can see it is showing java c 19.0.2 so our java path is set up now we will go to our visual studio code and here we will create a java file so um, I, uh, either i can create a file from this file menu or i can click on this uh, file explorer and here on this file sign and here i can name this hello world dot java and hit enter or java file is created so now we will create a class inside this so i'll in this class hello world and now i'll use curly braces right here and then inside this we will create the main uh, method so public uh, static wide main and uh, it automatically created it and uh, i'll remove this up to here backspace this and backspace this as well now i'll use a uh, system dot out dot print ln and here i'll pass in um, a hello world and now at the end put semicolon now i'll control is it and now i'll go to this run and now ta uh, run without debugging allow access and now you can see here hello world is printed now we uh, we will write a program that will get uh, input from user for that i'll remove this line and here i'll use enter a number and now i'll use here scanner sc equals new scanner and here i'll use uh, system dot n and now i'll put semicolon at the end and here i'll use end uh, a equals sc dot next end and now i'll put semicolon and here we will output the number so system dot out dot 
print ln and here i'll use uh, the number is plus and a and now i'll put semicolon at the end now i'll run this so i'll click on this run and run without debugging so now the program is uh, running so i'll enter here and i'll enter a number here and now i'll hit enter now you can see the output is the number is 100 so uh, in this way you can provide input in the terminal so i think that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you